Tibi Devo is the tallest hill overlooking Barcelona. At the summit you can find a church, a telecommunications tower and a small but interesting amusement park. Opened in 1905, it's the third oldest amusement park in Europe. It has a number of rides from the early 20th century still in operation. I first became aware of Tibi Devo about five years ago when I saw an old photograph of a very scary looking monorail. Which is odd, because I went there when I was about seven years old. I remember the church, but none of the fun stuff. Getting to Tibi Devo is part of the entertainment. First you get the metro to the northern terminus of Line L7. Over the road is the Tram Via Blau, a heritage tram using vehicles from 1904, and that goes to the Funicular Railway. The Funicular was opened in 1901 and travels just over a kilometre up to the park. It's been renovated twice in its history, in 1922 and 1958. The cars seen here are from 1958 and are period pieces, but they've just been removed and work has started on the funicular's third transformation, this time into the glowworm. Interactive features are promised, or maybe threatened. There are plenty of modern rides tucked away on the hillside, but the surviving old attractions are near the top of the funicular. That ferris wheel is relatively new despite the retro style. Flying over the park is the Avio, a 1928 replica of the Rohrbach 8 Roland aircraft that had operated Iberia's inaugural flight between Madrid and Barcelona the year before. Air travel was unaffordable to most people, and the ride aimed to give visitors a realistic flying experience. There's only one propeller, but it's functional, pulling the plane along. The ride has recently been restored to its original bright red appearance. Talaya, opened in 1921, is another ride that was designed to give visitors an incredible view, a more sedate version of today's pendulum rides. But the oldest attraction, the first big ride built at the site, is the Ferro Carol Airy, or Aerial Railway. Opened in May 1915, it's the scary monorail mentioned earlier. The famous photos are a bit of an optical illusion. It's 25 metres above the ground at its highest point, but the views over Barcelona are amazing. It hasn't changed much in the last 105 years. There are new cars, and the drivers and stewardesses are no longer a feature. The ride is fully automatic and takes you through the den of the witches and wizards, full of lighting effects and holographic displays, but the outside parts are still pretty much the same. Les fades i les nimfes. 